The family of Marlene Ochoa Lopez tells ABC7 it is agony to be in court. They hope a plea agreement with the murderer of the young mother will help them move forward. We say thank you to the Cook County State's attorney that justice was served for Marlene Ochoa Lopez and baby Yadiel Lopez. In court today, Clarissa Figueroa acknowledged luring Ochoa Lopez to her home in 2019 under the guise of giving the pregnant 19-year-old baby clothes. Instead, Figueroa and her daughter strangled Ochoa Lopez and cut her baby from her womb. After the horrific acts, Figueroa then pretended to be the baby's mother and called 911 for a baby in distress. Her lies would unravel and lives were changed forever. The baby boy died two months later in his father's arms. Ochoa Lopez and her husband had an older son, too. Before the judge entered the plea agreement in which Figueroa pleaded guilty to first-degree murder, two victim impact statements were read. From Ochoa Lopez's husband and father of their boys, Giovanni Lopez wrote, Your punishment will never be enough because my son will never be able to hug his mother ever. And Ochoa Lopez's mother wrote, The loss of my daughter's life is something I will never overcome. There's never going to be a number big enough and they're never going to bring Marlene or Yadiel back to their arms. Outside of court, Giovanni Lopez said, I lost my family and that will always stay with me. Before accepting this plea deal, the judge told Figueroa to consider all of the lives that were impacted by her actions, and she told her to think of all of those people affected every single day. Figueroa's daughter, Desiree, has already pleaded guilty for her part in this. She has yet to be sentenced. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.